Welcome back everybody, my name is Philip and today, today I'm going to show you how I took this image, which I took somewhere last year in Ireland, added some more color to it, made sure the attention is at the far back of our landscape and then just finished up with a nice neat little vignette. So before we get into Photoshop, let's just run the intro and then let's crush that. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's jump into Photoshop. Now the first thing I'm always doing is just copying my background layer. It's just a security measure I have, it's like a tick. I always have to do that just in case I mess something up. I have the original layer to get back to. Awesome. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to straight away add the color to our grass here, right? So that was a really beautiful landscape, but it's a tick too monotonously green for me. So let's add a little bit more red because I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm going to add a hue saturation layer by just you know selecting the hue saturation layer and I'm going to change the hue just like here from the center towards the left. Now theoretically you want to make sure you know you only select the greens and blah 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 but in my case as most of the image is actually plant material I'm totally happy by just selecting it this way. So let's get something like maybe something like this is kind of cool. I like that. Now, now that I have that, of course, it looks kind of weird. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to hit command or control on the windows, command and I, which will hide the effect because it's going to invert the layer mask of that adjustment layer. And now with a white brush, I can go ahead and bring the effect back into the image wherever I feel like. So for instance, if I'm taking an opacity of 30% and I were to paint in here, you can see that wherever I paint, I'm going to add 30% of that changed color that we just did with our adjustment layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a couple of areas where I want to put that in. Uh, I'm going to take a moment because, you know, I'm going to have to select which tree to select and where I like it. And I don't actually know yet. So I'm going to take a moment and just fill the, the vegetation, I assume, with a couple of nice red spots, a couple of nice red areas, just to see how it looks when I'm done. I'm back with you in just a moment. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. So if we have a look at the before and after, we can see I have now distributed that color through my image. Now I can, of course, and when you do these things, you have to fully decide how strong you wanna go with that. Like, do you wanna have it completely red? Do you just wanna add a little bit of brown tone to the image? That's something you're gonna have to come up with yourself when you actually do these kind of things with your images. Now in my case, what I'm gonna do is next is desaturate my sky a little bit because the attention is totally on the sky. It's a little bit too blue for my taste. So let's take that out by just simply creating another hue saturation layer. I could also use the same, but I like to have things kind of separate. And uh, let's go to the blues instead of the default master. And I'm just gonna go and reduce the opacity, uh, the saturation for that particular blues. So let's close that out. And if we look at the before and after for that, yeah, the sky is now neatly desaturated and stops drawing all the attention from the actual landscape. Now, the next thing is I want to bring out the colors of the image a bit more. And there's, of course, a thousand ways to do that. In my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything that we can currently see onto a new layer um, to actually apply a certain blend mode to that one. So let's see if I hit command or remember control on the windows, Command, Alt, Shift and E on my keyboard. I create a layer that has all the information that we have currently visible, right? So I can move that around and you see it has the colors and the desaturated sky and all that. Now, with that layer, I want to select it and I want to go from the normal blend mode down to soft light. And this is just going to bring out the colors way more. It's going to really oversaturate my image in the, 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 the worst sense, I suppose. So what I want to do with that is I want to selectively draw that effect in because I do like it in some areas. So I do like what it's doing to the trees in the far back because it's also taken out a little bit of that haze. But I'm not a big friend of areas like the river in the front where it's just getting really, really dark. So let's pop a layer mask on that bad boy and then start with a black brush to hide the... No, actually, let's invert it. So completely command and I invert the effect and with a white brush, let's start to bring out the, uh, the layer wherever we feel like. So I'm just going to bring it out in the sides here and especially with a really large white brush just in the very center of my image here because that is where I want to have the attention, right? So I'm just going to make it so. And the eye will always go to a very saturated place within your image first and then start to wander around. That's just the thing we have, which is kind of cool because if you know, you can just saturate one part very much so and there is a high likelihood the eye will fall onto that at the first instance. So let's make sure we bring that in here. Okay, 
Yeah, I love the effect in the trees there. And we might also bring it in just a little bit here on the sides. All right, so it doesn't look like much change, but if you look at the before and after, you can see we definitely brought out some of this increased color and increased contrast in a couple of the areas, especially in the back of the image, which makes them way more visible. Now, lastly, what I would like to do is I wanna put even more emphasis on that far end of our landscape by just going ahead and creating a tiny little vignette. And there are a thousand ways to do it. I'm just quickly going to use one, which I, mean, I have made videos on that as before. You, you guys know how to do that kind of stuff. So just go ahead and create a curve adjustment layer where I'm going to bring it down to maybe something like that. And then I'm going to hit M on my keyboard, which will bring up my marquee tool. You can also find it on the left here, where is the circular on the elliptical marquee tool, as you wish. And now I'm going to draw a circle onto my image, maybe something like that, nice and large. Make sure the center of my circle is more or less the far background of my landscape. And now I'm going to hit shift and backspace to fill that selection with black. I'm going to deselect with hitting command or control D on my keyboard. And now I can move that thing around, which looks horrible. So we're going to have to blur that to actually make it fit into our landscape a bit better. So you can either go to you know filter and then blur and the Gaussian blur, but if you wanted to, you can also go ahead and just double click on the layer mask and you can use the feather effect down here. There's really not a big, big difference to my knowledge at least. So I'm gonna give it a nice feather of maybe, yeah, 320 doesn't look bad. Let's hit the okay button there. So now we have darkened down the edge and if we feel like we have to resize that, we can always do this by hitting command and T or a control on T on a computer to actually take one of these edges and just start resizing. And you see the smaller I make it, the more central is my, my vignette. If I fade it out or if I push it out, then you can see that the darkness will also go towards the edges more, of course, because we're gonna move the effect away from the edges. So I might go for something like this is not bad. If I'm happy, I'm gonna hit okay and enter. Now I wanna also put a little bit of more brightness into the center of that image onto the far landscape part. So I can just either start over with a new curve adjustment layer or I just make a copy of the one I have already, invert it. So now I have like one that fits on another if you want, right? So this one fits on this one because they're the exact opposite. And just take the, the copy of my curve and just drag it up ever so slightly. I don't want it a lot, really just a notch, just something like that. And if we have a look at the complete before and after of what we have created today, we can see we have we had a nice image from begin with, absolutely, it's a totally nice landscape. But after that, we have a little bit more color in there, makes it a bit more interesting. And also we put a little bit more attention on the actual far side of our landscape. So super simple, there's nothing crazily difficult here. And you can always afterwards go ahead if you feel like and make changes to particular pieces of our composition here. So for instance, I don't like the super dark edges on this side. So I can actually just start to bring or to get rid of those by using a, white, uh, a black brush on my darking, darkening um, curve adjustment layer. So that's a simple way of just, you know, going in after and making the fixes you kind of need, but just bringing back some of the highlight details maybe. And I'm just gonna do this to a couple of areas. But overall, I think I'm very happy with the way this thing has turned out. And I think I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, guys, and that's all there is to add some simple color, some simple color, some nice color to your images in Photoshop and use that color to make it a bit more interesting. Place the emphasis on the center of the image or anywhere we have to using a vignette, which is always cool, but altogether a quick and simple process just to spice up that landscape image just ever so slightly. I hope you did like the video. If you did, do not forget to hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's gonna help me out. And I mean, if I help you out, you wanna help me out. It's just, that's just the way things roll, right? Other than that, guys, get out there and take some images yourself. It's not just about sitting here and editing like a madman all the time. You gotta get out there and do the adventure and take these pictures in the first place because I got lost in that adventure and it was awesome. But that's besides the point. I shall see you the next time. Take care of you guys and have a good one. Bye.